Hello, my name is Rodney Bailey, and I'm an instructor in the Department of English at Jacksonville State University. I'm also the coordinator for marketing and social media for the JSU School of Arts and Humanities. I want to introduce you to JSU's EH-141 Oral Communication. Oral Communication is classified as a Humanities and Fine Arts course and carries no prerequisite, which makes it an attractive course for first-time freshmen to enroll. Today, we will be discussing the Foundations of Communication, which is the first chapter we discuss in my Oral Communications course. So the first idea we discuss in my course is the misconception that communication applies to only what we hear. Communication actually encompasses everything we encounter in our daily lives, from what we touch to what we hear, what we taste, and even what we smell. So given that information, we then take a look at the global definition of communication, which is the process through which we express, interpret, and coordinate messages with others. This could be through verbal messages or nonverbal messages. This is a very broad-based definition because it covers every aspect of what we experience in our daily lives. Now, we can move on to the process of communication. The formal definition of the communication process tells us that encoded messages are sent to the receiver, decoded, and then sent back to the sender. But when we're actually able to look at a diagram which gives us a visual representation of this process, it becomes much easier to understand. So as you can see here, the individual on the left, which is the sender, encodes messages and then sends it to the person on the right, which is the receiver. The receiver then decodes the message through a number of channels, like past experiences, culture, attitudes, values, knowledge, feelings, and many others. Once that message is decoded, the receiver then sends the message back to the sender and the sender carries out the same process as the receiver. As you can see, this is a very complex process, but takes place in just seconds and in most instances is completely automatic. Through our study of this process, we've been able to identify several important characteristics of communication. First, communication has purpose. This purpose could be to develop and maintain a sense of self, to meet social needs, to develop and maintain relationships, to exchange information, or even to influence others. Next, communication process is continuous. It never stops. We even communicate while we're sleeping. Think about the times when you dreamt you were falling and right before you hit bottom, you jumped and woke yourself up. This is just one example of the continuous communication process. Next, communication is learned. You learn how to drive, shave, tie your shoes, button your shirt. These are all behaviors you learn from someone or something. The communication process is no different. And finally, the communication process is irreversible meaning once you send it, it is more than likely already being processed by receivers, people. Now, these are only a few of the characteristics we've been able to identify. In my class, we actually discuss uh, others and how they apply to our everyday lives. For example, communication messages vary in conscious thought, which could include spontaneous expressions or even scripted messages. And then finally, Communication is guided by cultural norms. Another important aspect of communication is communication ethics, which are moral principles that govern a person's behavior or the conducting of an activity. In this case, the activity is communicating. In closing, the main and important concept that I want my students to take away from this lesson is that as a society, we want to make sure that we are ethical communicators meaning that as we communicate, we are honest, we act with integrity, we behave fairly, demonstrate respect, and are responsible. I hope you've enjoyed this small glimpse into EH-141 Oral Communication at Jackson State University. For more information, please feel free to email me at rbailey at jsu.edu or visit our English department webpage at www.jsu.edu forward slash English or our Arts and Humanities webpage at www.jsu.edu forward slash arts dash humanities.